Okay, in the circuit shown on the left, the EMF of E1 and E2 of the cells are 12 volt and 3 volts respectively. Okay, uh, so okay, I label first, yeah, because there's a lot of information here. I label first uh, the information inside. So E1 is uh, 12 volt and E2 is 3 volt. Okay, so uh, the, the E1 is a bigger battery, 12 volt. Because it has a longer length, yeah, A B, yeah, for bigger resistance. Uh, but E2 is smaller battery, uh, 3 volt, because it has a smaller length. Yeah, stands for smaller length, uh, shorter length, uh, smaller resistance, yeah, over here. Uh, this is like potential divider principle, yeah, like what we discussed before, potential divider. Okay, and then the internal resistance, uh, internal resistance of Cell E2 is 2 ohm. Uh, so, okay, e, uh, so this example compared to last example before, uh, this example now has internal resistance. Last example, uh, this one has no internal resistance. Yeah? Uh, last time, this example has no internal resistance. Uh, but this example now, we have internal resistance. Okay, internal resistance of E2 is 2 ohm. So, I can say that. There is a, uh, here there is an internal resistance uh, R2. Okay, I put as R, uh, small r2 uh, is 2 ohm. Okay, uh, so I can say uh, this is the battery. Yeah? This is the battery. Uh, battery with uh, e EMF 3 volt and internal resistance 2 ohm. Okay, and then. Um, uh, normally, I can say that uh, if internal resistance is with the smaller battery, and when this length is AP is balanced, balanced length AP, and so this uh, galvanometer has zero current, has zero current, okay, zero current. So there is no current at the below circuit. There is no current at the below circuit. Uh, I can say that this internal resistance has no potential drop. Uh, it's like not exist at all. Yeah, we can actually disregard this internal resistance. Yeah, no potential drop. You refer to my lecture video before this. Okay, I already explained about this uh, internal resistance at the circuit below. When the there's no current, no current passing through uh, the circuit, there is no potential drop across the internal resistance. This is the exactly the same concept as um. If you uh, still remember about this, uh, yeah, electromotive force. Ah, I did explain about this. Ah, you see that? Ah, uh, when like this one, you see. Ah, uh, if you still remember what I the lecture video, okay. Ah, uh, if the switch is open, if the switch is open, okay. Ah, uh, there's no current passing through the circuit. Uh, about the you no know, terminal voltage. This one I explained about the terminal voltage. Uh, like when the circuit is open, you see, when the circuit is open, uh, so there's no current, no current uh, passing through the circuit. Okay, current zero. Uh, so this internal resistance uh, VR, the, the voltage across voltage across the internal resistance, or we can say the potential drop across the internal resistance is zero. Uh, there's no potential drop across the internal resistance. Uh, the VR is zero, yeah, because uh, I, yeah, the current is zero, so IR also zero. Uh, yeah, the same concept as this one, yeah. So go back to our example, okay. Uh, so this one, I can say that uh, when balance length, uh, this internal resistance R two, I can say that uh, how to say yeah, uh, can say uh, the VR. Uh, the VR2, the potential drop across the internal resistance, which is the current multiply uh, internal resistance is zero. Why? Because uh, the current itself is zero. Yeah, current itself is zero because no current passing through the uh, below circuit. Uh, whereas there is current at the top circuit. Uh, there is current at the top circuit. You can say uh, here positive, here negative. Uh, so there is current give up by I can say current give up by uh, E1. Uh, current give up by E1 that is I1. 
are passing through the top circuit. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, so that, that this current passing through the top circuit. Yeah, oh, sorry. E, E, uh, I1. Uh, so, but below here, below here, there's no current. Uh, I can say there is only current at the top circuit. Uh, but there's no current, no current at all. Uh, no current at all at the below circuit. Understand? Uh, okay. Uh, this is the one small thing I want to tell you first. Yeah, before I go deeper lah. Yeah, this is very important. Okay. So no potential drop across the internal resistance here. Yeah. Okay. This one you remember first. Okay. And then the wire AB is hundred cm long. And its resistance is 5 ohm. Okay, so uh, yeah, as usual, AB is 100 cm long. So I can write that. Uh, LAB is um, okay. uh, 100 cm long. Uh, whereas the resistance AB, resistance AB is 5 ohm. Uh, resistance AB is 5 ohm. Okay, and then the balance length AP is 60 cm. Oh, length AP, yeah, uh, is 60 cm. Okay, let's write that down. Uh, balance length AP is 60 cm long. Uh, okay, uh, okay, what I can say is this whole length AB is a resistant, you know, it's just not a usual wire, but it's wire with resistance. There's resistance along this wire. Ah, okay. There is resistance along this wire. The whole wire AB has resistance 5 ohm. Okay, 5 ohm. Ah, ah okay. So right now, uh, I want to find, calculate the internal resistance of E1. So I want to find internal resistance of E1. Oh, this E1 also has internal resistance. Okay, so I want to find internal resistance of E1. As you can see, there is uh, both battery also have internal resistance. You see that? Uh, both E2 has internal resistance R2 uh, ohm. Uh, E1 has also internal resistance, but it's unknown. We need to find out. Okay. okay, I write that uh, this 2 ohm, this 2 ohm is for uh, R2, lah, R2, internal resistance for battery 2. And right now, I want to find internal resistance of cell uh, E1. Okay, so I put that as R1, small R1, yeah? So, okay, so I can say uh, there is internal resistance also uh, for uh, battery 1, yeah? E1. Uh, so, Okay, so this is the battery. Understand? Ah, uh, uh, but this uh, I R1 has potential drop. Uh, has potential drop because there's current. At the top circuit has current, but at the bottom circuit, there's no current because this uh, AP, this length AP is balanced. It's balanced length. Uh, so when balanced length, the current is zero. Huh? There's no current uh, at the below circuit. Uh, but uh, so the potential drop across internal resistance at the below is zero. Okay. But for R1 at the top, there is potential drop because got current. Understand? We got current. Okay. I want to write that down over here. Okay. So there is, uh, we have VR1. Uh, which is uh, I current, I1 multiply R1 lah. Uh, so for, uh, got this one got potential drop lah. It's not zero. Yeah? This one is not, this one is not zero. Yeah? It's not zero. Uh, the, there is uh, potential drop across internal resistance. Yeah? Potential drop. So there's voltage loss lah. There's voltage loss across internal resistance here. Uh, because got current. It's just the same concept like, uh, you know the uh, last time you learn about this one uh, like when you close the switch uh, when you close the switch you see that when you close the switch 
Uh, then there is voltage loss across the internal resistance IR. Uh, so the terminal voltage is less than the EMF itself uh, because there is a voltage loss across internal resistance. Okay, so there is IR. Uh, so so you end up you get uh, the terminal voltage less than EMF. Uh, yeah, the switch close. So when there is current flow, uh, there is current flow. So the terminal voltage less than EMF. So it, this one, this one is the same as the top part. You know, the top part of the potentiometer. The same, the same as the top part of potentiometer. Uh, the top part of potentiometer. Whereas the bottom part is like switch open. Okay, it's like uh, when the switch open. Okay, maybe uh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Okay. You see, uh, the top part here got current, isn't it? Got current. Uh, it's just like this circuit. Uh, it's like switch close. Switch close, uh, got current flow. Okay. Uh, so, um, I can say that the top part, this one, got current flow. Okay. Got potential drop across internal resistance. It's the same as like switch close. Switch close, got, cu get, got current flow, got potential drop across internal resistance. Okay. Okay. Uh, the terminal voltage is E minus IR. Uh, terminal voltage across the battery. Uh, whereas the bottom part is like, is no current, no current. It's like the switch open. Uh, it's like switch open. Okay. Uh, no current. So there's no potential drop across internal resistance. Uh, VR equal to zero. Okay. Uh, just like this one. IR equal to, VR equal to zero because cu no current. IR also equal to zero. Ah, so in a in short, I can say the top part, top part is like switch close, switch close. The bottom, uh, the bottom part is like uh, switch open. It's like switch open. Ah, okay. Uh, to make it even clearer is I can say, uh, I can say like this. Uh, maybe I can show you. Uh, the top part, the top part. Okay. Uh, maybe I take. Uh, Okay, terminal voltage. Okay, I can say this is the battery, isn't it? This is the battery. Uh, this is the battery. So, uh, the terminal voltage, that means this, the voltage be across these two points. Uh, voltage across these two points is the terminal voltage. Yeah, voltage across these two points is the terminal voltage of uh, E1. Okay, this, uh, termi uh, this terminal voltage uh, this terminal voltage is exactly E1 minus. Okay. Uh, what I can say is last uh, last time I say the top part here got current, isn't it? It's just like the switch close. Okay, switch close. So the terminal voltage across the battery at the top is like uh, this one lah. Uh, terminal voltage E minus IR because the potential drop across internal resistance here. So is is you the voltage the terminal voltage across the battery is not E1 it's not E1 it's E1 minus E1 minus IR uh, E1 minus I can E1 minus uh, I1 I1 R1 okay uh, the top one okay E1 minus I1 R1 uh, so the terminal voltage you won't get uh, e exactly E1 you get less than E1 you see that the terminal voltage here you get um, this terminal voltage you get uh, less than E1 understand uh, this is what this is very important you must know this concept okay uh, this terminal voltage across this battery is not you don't get the EMF uh, because the potential drop across the internal resistance here when there is current passing through, I1 passing through. So the potential drop across internal resistance which is I1 R1. So the terminal voltage across the battery you get is less than the EMF E1. Uh, because it's E1 minus I1 R1. Understand? Uh, whereas the battery below, okay, here there is another battery below. Uh, there's no current when the, when the length AP is balanced. There's no current across the bottom circuit. No current. It's like when the switch is open. Ah, it's like when the switch is open. When the switch is open, uh, 
there's uh, no potential drop across the internal resistance. Uh, no potential drop across internal resistance because uh, current equal to zero, current equal to zero, so IR equal to zero. So the terminal voltage, terminal voltage across a battery is EMF. Uh, is EMF. Uh, it doesn't minus IR anymore. It's just EMF. Ah, so I can say, okay, the voltage across, uh, across here, uh, the terminal voltage across here, across the battery below. Uh, I want to draw like this, okay. Uh, how to draw? Uh, like that. Ah, the terminal voltage. The terminal voltage, okay, last time this one is vo terminal voltage 1 lah, terminal voltage 1. Uh, this one is terminal voltage 2 lah. Terminal voltage, uh, terminal voltage across the battery below is, uh, you know, is, okay, let me, okay, let me rearrange, let me rearrange. Okay, uh, hold on a second. Uh, mm, okay, like this. Uh, I don't want to put it over here, put it at the other side. Wait, wait. Let me see. Yeah. So I think uh, this one I just drag to the other side because I want I want some space. Yeah. I want some space. Okay, this uh this one over here, okay. Uh, all right. No potential drop across the uh internal resistance. Uh R2, yeah, for the battery below. No potential drop because no current. Okay, so what I can say, the terminal voltage across the battery below, okay, ah, the terminal voltage across the battery below is actually also E, is also actually E2 minus IR2 just like above, you know, it's just like above. However, because there's no current flow, no current flow across internal system below, so uh, this uh, IR2 is uh, zero. Understand? Uh, IR2 is zero. So the terminal voltage below is E2. Ah, do you see that? Do you see that? So below here, the terminal voltage is EMF. EMF itself. Uh, because there's no IR. But the terminal voltage at the top is uh, E, E minus IR. Uh, that's the difference. Got potential drop IR, no potential drop IR. Uh, top at the top terminal voltage, the top terminal voltage is E minus IR. At the bottom terminal voltage is just E EMF. Ah, okay, okay. So I want to conclude the first part of this video uh, now. Okay, because uh, we go to the second part now, yeah. Because this is a uh, quite an uh, explanation, so that's why I divide into several parts, yeah. So this is the first part you must know first. Okay, hope you understand. Okay, bye.